what is happening to who we've always known as the dominant Jamaican sprinters? Or more accurately, what happened to them? Reigning Olympic 100 meter bronze medalist and back to back silver medalist in the same event at the World Athletic Championships, Sharika Jackson has announced that she will not be lining up in the 100 meters at this summer's games. It would have been okay if it ended there as Sharika Jackson assured fans that she would still be ready to defend her title in her specialty event, the 200 meter. In fact, when asked. Uh, how confident are you about the 200? I'm always confident, whether it's 100 or 200. It's something that you go out there, you don't go out there and like, oh, what if? Or what if I don't win or what not? Then, there's yet another Jamaican legend who shocked the world with her non-appearance. And she was going for her fifth consecutive gold medal in that final, but she wasn't there. She didn't run in the semis. It was really, really strange, Jess. There was kind of no news. Uh, Unlike Jackson, though, Shelly Ann Fraser Price initially showed up on the track and kicked off her fifth and final Olympics with the second fastest time of the heats to breeze into the women's 100 meter semifinals at Paris 2024. Going into it, the sprint superstar has already informed the world that Paris will be her Olympic swan song. She reiterated this again in the France capital as she told reporters, it's the final Olympic games. Let me repeat that. So expectations ran high especially since her compatriot and fellow champion Elaine thompson Hera had already bowed out of the games because of an injury. Then, the other part of the legendary Jamaican trio, Sharika Jackson, also withdrew from the 100 meter to focus on the 200. And so, the Mommy Rocket, as she is fondly referred to, was the strongest Jamaican favored to defend their dominance in the event. And, as is pretty obvious, she is more than well equipped to do so. After all, Fraser Price has remarkably made the 100-meter podium at the past four Olympics, winning Beijing 2008 and London 2012. At the Stade de France, it didn't come as a surprise when the 10-time world champion posted an impressive 10.92, just 0.05 seconds, behind the Heat's overall pace setter, Marie-José Talou Smith. Talou Smith, who was fourth at both Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020, joined Fraser Price on the list of names to beat Richardson, the favorite going into the 100-meter final. Before that, though, they were still up to compete in the semifinal. And that's when all hell broke loose. The two-time Olympic 100-meter champion's quest for another title ended abruptly when she pulled out before the 100-meter semifinal at the Paris Games. Olympic officials said she suffered an undisclosed injury. The letters DNS did not start. Flashed on the scoreboard only moments before she was supposed to race Shakari Richardson and Julian Alfred in the evening's second semifinal. We only got the information that she is injured, team manager Ludlow Watts told the Jamaica Observer. It would be an understatement to say that fans were shocked to learn about this development. The shock, though, turned to anger and frustration when a clip of the Jamaican champion surfaced on the web a few hours later. She said them changed the rule yesterday. Wasn't that they changed the rule and then not say it. So you're asking all the athletes who, for whatever reason, don't stay in the village, them can't come through the gate. Apparently, she and American world champion Shakari Richardson were temporarily delayed entry to the warm-up track at the Stade de France Paris as they arrived to start preparations for that afternoon's semifinals. The video, obtained by Observer Online, showed both women, two of the most well-known athletes at the games no less, waiting outside the entrance to the facility as officials denied them entry. Based on the information gained, both athletes had arrived at the venue in private vehicles, not the athletes' shuttle provided by the organizers, and were told they could not be allowed in. The Jamaican stood outside the gates, while the American was sitting on the pavement as their respective teams talked to the people at the gate. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, no problem. <laughs> a short while later, both Shelly Ann and Shakari were shown being led away by another games official, presumably to another entry. So they let people out, but they won't let you in. So I'm going to ask them to record how long the walk is. What happened afterward is something no one expected. Viewers around the world were stunned 
to see Shelly Ann Fraser Price's lane was empty at the start of her women's 100 meter semifinal. No heads up were given at all about the Jamaican sprint queen's withdrawal, and it took several minutes before the mystery appeared to be solved. It was still what everyone was talking about when Julian Alfred scorched the Stade de France track to be crowned the world's fastest woman. It was initially reported that the Jamaican didn't show up for the semi-final because the three-time Olympic champion had been denied entrance and locked out of the Olympic Stadium's training area. Unsurprisingly, the rumors outraged fans. It is indeed upsetting to learn that their country's representative was treated this way. Word quickly filtered through, however, that her absence from the final was because she suffered a hamstring injury in warm-up. The suggestions from the Jamaican camp appear to be that the stress of being locked out of the venue may have contributed to the sprint sensation's injury when she eventually managed to start her warm-up. Jamaican chef Demission Ian Kelly later announced there had been a delay, but that the sprinter's absence was due to injury. Mrs. Fraser Price was allowed to enter the warm-up track, but from another gate, from which she was directed to enter from, he said. There is no truth that she was not allowed to enter the stadium. Unfortunately, she was not able to compete due to an injury sustained during her final warm-up. Shelly Ann's post that night, however, did not shed light on whatever had transpired for her to come up to that decision. In the picture post, she wrote, It is difficult for me to find the words to describe the depth of my disappointment. I know that my supporters share and shoulder this disappointment with me. She then expressed her gratitude for the people who always had her back no matter what. I am truly blessed to have had the steadfast support of my fans. The support of my fans, my country, and the larger community has rooted me in immense gratitude that has sustained me throughout my career. And as you all already know, it was not the only disappointing news for Jamaican fans. After they failed to protect the 100-meter title, they had been counting on Jackson to make sure that the 200-meter gold remained theirs. But that too is in jeopardy with Jackson's withdrawal in the event. Jackson was a DNS for heat, three of the women's 200 meter, after not being entered for the women's 100 meter competition. Sadly, the reason behind this is as heartbreaking as it could be. The two-time world champion pulled out of the women's 200 meter due to injury. For context, Jackson last raced in early July at the Gyulai Istvan Memorial in Sexfehervar, Hungary but pulled up on the home stretch of the 200 meter, prompting her to not double at Paris 2024. That decision was based on coach and I, Jackson recently explained. It's a combination of a lot of stuff, and I made that decision not to contest the 100 meter and focus only on the 200, and I think we're pretty happy with that. I just want to compete at my best, as everybody is here to win. The focus is on the individual event first, and then we speak about the relay after. So yes, she withdrew from the 100 meter earlier in the week, but maintained she would be fit in time to compete at her preferred distance. This is a huge blow for Team Jamaica, who were already depleted heading into the games, with Elaine Thompson Hera pulling out after struggling to overcome her numerous injury woes this season. Jackson, who was scheduled to participate in the third heat, will hopefully be trying to spare her energy for the 4x100 meter relay, which will take place in a few days. Jamaica's hopes of a 200 meter medal now rest with Nisha Berger and Lanai Tava Thomas. Whether Jackson will race at all in Paris remains to be seen. Watch this to see what has happened so far in the French capital.